<laughs> Hi my beautiful space babes, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's just going to be my thoughts on Graveyard Girl's recent paranormal video. Um, once I saw it, I was like, I really feel like I needed to make a video just kind of saying my thoughts and what I think about the whole thing um, coming from a paranormal YouTuber. If you're new to my channel, my name is Cheyenne and I make paranormal videos all of the time. Mandela effects, anything spooky, sometimes beauty and fashion, but only sometimes. Um, if I seem a little bit off in this video, it's because it's like a hundred friggin' degrees in my house right now. And the property managers won't come fix the air conditioner. So, I am like roasting right now. So yeah, so... Basically, if you guys don't know, I am a huge Graveyard Girl fan. I've watched her for probably like five years or so now, maybe even more than that. I've been with her through it all, basically. And I know a lot of people like disconnected from her, and I did feel a little bit of that disconnect, but I always watched her videos. I didn't really care what kind of videos she was making. I always just had such a mood boost whenever I would watch her videos. And I've just always loved watching Graveyard Girl. Um, recently, Shane Dawson kind of revamped Bunny's channel, helped her kind of find out who she was again with YouTube and just kind of help her figure out what she wanted to do with her channel. And he really helped her open up to her audience again. Graveyard Girl started out doing paranormal videos, which you guys know I loved. Um, I would binge watch those videos all the time and I still go back and watch them just because that is my favorite version of Bunny. And she has talked about how unhappy she was at that time, so I understand why she stopped doing paranormal things. She said it was very unhealthy for her and that things started like attaching to her and she just had a lot of bad things happen in her life. So she just kind of wanted to get away from the whole paranormal thing, which I understand. As much as I wanted that bunny to come back, I um, respected her wishes and everything. Um, and Shane kind of brought that back out of her a little bit, I feel. She has always loved the paranormal, from what I can tell. She loves to watch the shows. I just don't think she wants to investigate as much. And even just recently, she posted a video called telling ghost stories in my Porsche or something like that and she was talking about how the more that she talks about it the more that it comes into her life which I can 100 1 million percent agree with anytime you talk about it think about it bring it more into your life it's gonna be there so basically um when her and Shane were collabing they filmed like a ghost story type of thing where they all told their ghost stories like Shane, Ryland, Garrett, Andrew actually Andrew didn't tell one Morgan, all of them, they told a ghost story. Bunny posted this video and her and Dogman filmed the video like in a different time. It was at her house instead of at On Common Objects and you guys, I was shook. The way that it was filmed was just so eerie, so creepy, so freaking awesome. It just reminds me of like old ghost shows that I used to watch like Celebrity Ghost Story or My Ghost Story or A Haunting, like all of that stuff is what I feel like she really portrayed in these videos and she did talk about how that was kind of her inspiration when editing and stuff and I was just so blown away by how good it was, how creepy it was and I am just so excited. I don't think she originally wanted to like keep going with the series but a lot of people loved it so I think she kind of was like okay I'm gonna get more YouTubers on this show and interview them and ask them about their ghost stories so I think she's gonna do that which is pretty awesome because I've always loved Graveyard Girl I mean the name just speaks for itself like she used to just be in graveyards all the time and I've just always loved that spookier side of her. I do want to say that I hope that she doesn't feel pressured to do this because I know that she was always trying to push it away for a very long time and so I hope she doesn't feel pressured to kind of take her channel a little bit more into this direction. Um, 
I just love what she did like I just feel like she did it so well and if I had that kind of production value you guys know I'd be making those kinds of videos too like I just love the whole vibe of the whole thing and I hope one day I can make videos like that just because it brought back so much for me and it made me just so happy to be a paranormal channel um, I feel like a lot of people think of it as, you know, like a cool thing, but not a lot of people are paranormal YouTubers like I am. So the fact that such a big YouTuber who started out with paranormal videos is bringing it back and making everyone excited about it, it just makes me more excited. Um, and I kind of want to talk briefly about something a little bit more negative. Um, Bunny posted on Twitter and was like, who do you want to see uh, me ask ghost stories or to see their ghost stories like on this new series? And I just really hope she picks people that don't really talk about the paranormal and have st new stories to tell. And then I really hope that she kind of maybe incorporates paranormal YouTubers into this series somehow. Like maybe... Um, that they could come on and talk about experiences they've had like ghost hunting or something like that just to kind of bring that in but I feel like we should see a lot of people that don't really talk about the paranormal which is really cool because everyone I feel like for the most part has a ghost story so I just hope that she doesn't bring paranormal youtubers that aren't genuine onto this series you know um I think she's a pretty good judge of character but I feel like a lot of people are fooled by fake paranormal youtubers and I don't want to start any drama in this video in this video because I'm thinking about making a video about an experience I had a few months back probably like six months or so ago about a bigger youtuber kind of coming after me and I just really I feel like saw their true colors at that time and I haven't supported them since then just because I feel like anybody who is a genuine person wouldn't do something like that and if you guys want a full video like spilling the tea or whatever let me know I just am very afraid because they're a really big youtuber and I am not so the fact that I'm scared to talk about it until I have like a bigger audience just kind of goes to show like how messed up it is that I'm afraid that I'm going to be attacked by people who don't really hear my side of the story. So if you guys know who I'm talking about, please don't say it in the comments. I know my OG subscribers will know, but please just don't say anything. Um, I will say my side once I feel good and ready. I just have kind of reflected on the situation and looked back on it and I was kind of like, I feel like I was bullied into being quiet and I don't want to be like that anymore so I just really hope Bunny stays genuine with this and doesn't feel pressured and does what she wants to do on her channel just because I'm so happy for her. There was literally like a huge airplane like right outside my window you guys. If you've seen my video where I talk about my dream where I always have dreams about planes crashing, then you guys will know the fear is real right now. Um, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you like paranormal videos, Mandela Effect videos, and sometimes beauty, mediocre beauty videos. If you guys like that, please subscribe. Let me know what you thought of Bunny's video. I thought it was super super awesome so i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in my next video bye